All right, uh, this is just a quick um, uh, video on uh, how the uh, GMK Tech G5 uh, works with Retrobat. Um, I've definitely modified uh, the OS and hardware parts on that as well. I'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, so the BIOS, I set it to you know the fastest boot possible. I think I put the uh, the splash screen did only last one second. Um, as far as Windows, I set it to um, boot with no GUI. Um, also, uh, I completely uh, from I updated the registry in Windows to completely uh, bypass or not start Windows Explorer. Um, that exe so that's completely gone um so it seems more it, it, to make it seem as seamless as possible just to go straight into you know um kind of like a gaming dedicated gaming little machine uh the theme i'm using um it's the um emulation station theme playstation x um kind of going with the whole playstation theme here i enable the sounds the background music um it came um standard with a few of these um categories here i just added a couple more like puzzle games racing and driving um the rest of the uh, uh the consoles here have um commercials what's it like i did add one specific for windows which is you know pcmr stuff <laughs> um but actually, before I keep going on this, let me just show you uh, what I've done uh, as far as uh, what parts I've gotten. So um, this is the uh, the mini PC that I got. Uh, it's just you know the GMK Tech uh, G5 uh, with the 12 gig uh, DDR5 integrated memories. I think it's 4800 megahertz. Um, you cannot upgrade that. It's soldered in. Um, but you can upgrade those a couple things. Um, first thing I upgraded was the uh, the storage. I went with the silicon power to uh, two terabyte UD90. Um, you can see though it's a 2230, and this mini PC accepts a well the it it set the slot is for a 2240. So you will need an adapter uh, to make it fit properly. Uh, so this is just the one I got. Uh, you essentially just cut it to size uh, and just make it fit properly. Uh, another thing that I upgraded um, was the, uh, the, uh, the the wireless card in it. I think it came with a Wi-Fi 5, um, which was fine. I didn't really notice any issues, but I knew that I wanted to play around with Moonlight on this. Uh, just, you know, have it um, set somewhere and just kind of stream uh, to different computers or whatever, TVs. Um, so I went with the Wi-Fi 6 card, just a standard AX210. It's been completely flawless. Uh, been, I've had it for a month. Um, haven't had any issues. Um, and then, actually, before I even bought any of this, um, I was reading a uh, Reddit post. Um, oh, let me let me take a step back here. This uh, mini uh, PC you can actually power with USB-C. Uh, so my one of my first questions was, oh, can we can I use different um, power supplies or even portable chargers? Um, I found a couple of uh, Reddit posts that mentioned, oh yeah, you just need a voltage trigger. Um, but I've noticed that you don't actually need this whatsoever. Uh, or maybe I'm, I'm, I'm breaking my PC and I haven't noticed yet. But uh, for a month, I've been using different uh, power supplies or portable chargers. Um, the re main requirement that I'm making sure that uh, these uh, comply with is that they provide at the very least 24 uh, watts of power. That's what I've noticed that that mini PC can pull at most. Um, but yeah, so far, no issues whatsoever. Um, so I would say maybe this, you can skip this if you're uh, putting together the same, something similar to this. Um, oh, and I guess the, just the, the other, uh, just quick note, uh, that I could have bought a 2240 without having to buy an adapter. Uh, but price to to, to storage uh, was it's terrible right now. Twenty two forties are way more expensive 
um, if you want them to be like around the same speed, it just didn't make any sense. It was cheaper just to get a 2230 and get this uh, $5 adapter. But um, but yeah, let's go back to the to Retrobat and the, the PC, mini PC. Um, so, it's uh, it'll run uh, just about anything you throw at it. Um, I haven't had any. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It, it, it just has an integrated um, 1200 megahertz, you know, iGPU from Intel. So it's not the most powerful thing in the world. It's assumed it's a 140 dollar mini PC, right? Uh, but um, you, can, you can definitely get an, anything below uh, before 2000s, like you know, like, or your old school consoles. So they'll play no issues. Um, it'll play Nintendo GameCube just fine. Um, we, uh, we, you have been able to get a few games going. Uh, as far as the Nintendo Switch, um, the only way that I could get it really playable is just set it, set the emulator to play it in on dock mode, which essentially it's just forcing it to play at 720p. Um, but no, uh, it plays fine. Uh, very few drop frames. Um, and obviously it'll play all of the, uh, MAME or old school arcade games. Uh, PlayStation, PS1, obviously, PS2, PSP. Uh, for PS2, I'm using, uh, specifically the, um, PCSX2 emulator. It's great that lately they had great updates. Um boost performance a lot um so i'm actually playing a few games in 1080p um some games they will have to drop to 720 but most of them just standard at 1080 um same thing with psp using the um uh, P, uh ppssp uh ppssp P game uh sorry emulator um most of them run at 10 uh 1080p very few you'll have to drop to 720 or uh, for some reason, I think I found a couple of games that actually play better with the standard RetroArch uh, emulator using uh, this one instead of, you know, the standalone emulator. Um, so you can kind of just play. But what I love about RetroBat, though, is you can literally just, you know, per, on a per game basis, you can tell it what emulator to use, which is great. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, for the price, uh, you don't have to do the updates that I did. You could just get it going as is, and then, you know you'll, you'll you'll enjoy it. But you know, I just wanted to poke around, and play with it a little bit. Like half the fun for me was just putting everything together. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks.